from ghost ships and deep ocean wrecks to forgotten airplane locations. These are nine strange abandoned ships and planes. Number nine, Lady Be Good. The US Air Force B-24D Liberator, nicknamed Lady Be Good, departed the Solak Field Air Base in Libya on April 4th, 1943. It was headed towards Naples, Italy for a bombing mission. And on the return trip, the plane was spotted flying over the airbase in a massive sandstorm. It wasn't seen again for over 15 years. In 1958, British Petroleum spotted the wreckage during an oil exploration program. The plane was two hours south of their final destination, and efforts to locate remnants of the crew were successful. All but one crew member was accounted for. Co-pilot Robert Toner recorded the grueling plight of his crew in the middle of the Kalanchio Sand Sea. The eight members survived for eight days on one canteen of water and managed to walk 81 miles as a team. Then they split up again and again. The final remains were found a further 27 miles away. It gets stranger. In 1994, Lady Be Good was removed from its resting place and some parts were flown back to the USA. Some of those parts were salvaged and reused in other planes. One C-54 that received transmitters from the crashed plane had to throw away its cargo so it can land safely because of issues with its propeller. A C-47 that had a radio receiver crashed into the Mediterranean. Finally, a DHC-3 Otter crashed in the Gulf of Sidra. One of the few things to wash ashore was the armrest from the Lady Be Good. Number 8. Lubov Orlova Lubov Orlova was named after the famous Russian actress by the same name. Built in 1976 by the USSR, she served as an expedition cruise ship, traveling around the Arctic and Antarctica often. In 2010, Lubov Orlova was seized at St. John's Port, Newfoundland, because of accrued debts amounting to $251,000. It stayed at that port for the next two years, and when it was being towed to the Dominican Republic to be scrapped, something happened. Not even one day into the journey, the tow lines broke and the ship drifted away. Incredibly, she was captured again by a Transport Canada tugboat and dragged away to international waters, where she was cut loose again. The last time Lubov Orlova was spotted was in 2013 near the coast of Iceland and Ireland. Apart from that, nobody really knows where this ship went. Number 7. Keybird while the U.S. Air Force was trying to spy on the Soviets in 1947, Keybird, a Boeing B-29 Superfortress, part of the 46th Reconnaissance Squadron, crash-landed in Greenland. The crew had to suffer in the Arctic climate for three days, but luckily there were no casualties. The plane was left to the elements and the U.S. Air Force surrendered any claim to the B-29, meaning if you wanted it, it was yours. In 1994, Daryl Greenmeyer was like, yeah, I want that plane. And under the guise of the Key Bird Limited Liability Company, his crew set out on a salvage mission. It didn't go so well. The Key Bird caught on fire because the fuel tank started leaking and the plane is still there. It's just a bit crispier. Number six, TSS Duke of Lancaster. The TSS stands for Twin Screw Steamship or Steamer, meaning it has two screw propellers compared to a single screw steamer, which has one. The more you know. From 1955 to 1979, the ship provided services for travelers around the United Kingdom until it was forever beached near Mauston, North Wales. At this point, the Duke of Lancaster was branded as the Fun Ship, becoming a tourist attraction but local politics made it almost impossible for the owners to operate the business, so it shut down. Number 5. The U.S. Navy F-4U Corsair Airplane The Vought F-4U Corsair was the most capable and widely used fighter bomber of the Second World War, and its use extended to the Korean War. U.S. military figures show that the plane was used in 64,951 operational sorties, or offensive attacks. That's 44% of all the attacks carried out by the U.S. during the war. 
This is one of those planes, found off the coast of Honolulu. It is believed that the pilot ditched the plane after running out of fuel. It must have been a scary situation. Since the wreck is only 100 feet underwater, it makes for a great diving location. Number 4. The MS World Discoverer the World Discoverer was a cruise ship that operated from 1975 to 2000, visiting such great spots as Antarctica, Argentina, Chile, and the Falkland Islands. The ship was loved by many, but on April 30th, 2000, the ship hit a huge uncharted rock near the Solomon Islands. All passengers were transported to safety, while the captain stayed on the ship, steering it into the Roderick Bay. At that point, the ship was considered a loss, and to this day, the World Discoverer remains at the same location. It has become somewhat of a tourist destination, being visited by other cruise ships in the area, which is kind of unsettling. Number 3. The Atka B-24D Liberator This plane was sent out on a reconnaissance mission on December 9, 1942, and it never returned. Due to bad weather, the crew decided to deliberately crash land on Atka Island, part of the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. The Liberator was never salvaged and is now part of the World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument, just like the USS Arizona. Number 2. The SS America or the SS American Star this ocean liner served many different owners under different names, including the U.S. Navy under the name of USS West Point. After its illustrious 54-year career, the SS America was being transported from Greece to Thailand to become a five-star docked hotel ship. The journey began on New Year's Eve 1993, and a few days later, during a massive storm, the tow ship Neftegas 67 lost control of the SS America. The ship, now renamed the American Star, found its way to the coast of Fuerteventura and ran aground. Within 48 hours, the harsh waves of the Atlantic Ocean split the ship in two. She was declared a total loss and left to rot. At this point, there is almost nothing left from the ship, only a distant memory. And now some honorable mentions. First up, we have the Pinal Air Park in Arizona. It is incredible how many planes are just sitting around collecting dust. Trust me, this isn't even the biggest airport boneyard in Arizona, let alone the world. Some of the planes are destined to be scrapped. Others are just parked there, waiting for a buyer or a surge in demand. That's just crazy. Without having to draw me like one of your French girls, let's take a look at the remnants of the RMS Titanic the most famous unsinkable shipwreck there ever was. The location of it was discovered in 1985 and caused quite a stir. The USA took the first steps to protect it with the RMS Titanic Maritime Memorial Act, but that couldn't really stop anyone since the wreck was in, you know, international waters. Finally, let's look around the Kodinka Aerodrome. Nowadays, it's a graveyard for various military helicopters and planes. The last news article mentioned something about a revival of the airport, but it will most likely be replaced by condominiums. Number 1. Murmansk The cruiser Murmansk was uh, built by the Soviet Union in 1955, and it served proudly until 1989. A few years later, the Russians decided to sell the cruiser to India for scrapping. During the move, the ship ran aground near the Norwegian coast. Shortly after, this haunting picture was taken. The ship looks like it's almost in perfect condition, except for, you know, being almost sideways, but whatever. Anyway, no one wanted to deal with the cleanup until 2009. That's when everyone realized that due to the extremely harsh weather, the ship would have to be dismantled piece by piece. So that's what the Scandinavian contractor AFDCOM did. They built a dock around the ship and emptied out the water. This picture was taken during the process. You can see that it was really a team effort. Don't forget to tell me what you thought about this video in the comments below. Subscribe for more awesome world on earth and check out the video coming up next. See you there.